friends we will talk about a diagnosis of deep endometriosis today i am dr vivek saranke i am a endometriosis surgeon practicing in mumbai so the diagnosis of deep endometriosis is tricky many times we see patients with normal sonography reported and they are diagnosed to be having deep endometriosis later what are the main two modalities by which we diagnose deep endometriosis one is the transvaginal sonography a sonography which is done with a transvaginal rope is most common easy bedside way to diagnose endometriosis and second is mri scans which can diagnose the deep endometriosis in the pelvis better so let us talk about transvaginal sonography it is sonography probe which is inserted in the vagina and as it goes in the vagina it's closest to the uterus tubes and holes so we can pick up the disease of deep endometriosis better so it tells us it is a very much user dependent the, the doctor who is doing the transvaginal sonography has to have a eye or a training to see the deep endometriosis in these areas ovarian pathology like uh, having endometriotic cyst deep endometriosis on the back of the uterus the vaginal nodules the adenomyosis the hydrosalpings the tubal swellings and uh, the involvement of the deep endometriosis with the bowel and the bladder or the ureters can be picked up uh, very well with the transvaginal sonography if the person who is doing a transvaginal scan is uh, trained to do this radiologist who is not used to seeing the deep endometriosis in these areas may be likely to miss so as a endometriosis surgeon we all have undergone this training to see and uh, do your own transvaginal sonography and pick up the deep endometriosis at various parts uh, like supporting ligaments of the uterus the vagina the back of the uterus like the torus of the uterus the fallopian tubes the ovaries and the nodules the endometrial tissues going in the, in the sides which can affect the ureters or the bowel or the bladder so this particular modality is very easily available by side you can see gives you idea about or like about the particular pain spots in the pelvis like you know, whether you get the internal organs moving with each other and whether there is deep endometriosis in all this area coming to the second modality is uh, mri mri we have to get it done in the mri scan centers is uh, done with contrast or without contrast and most of the pelvic structures are very well visualized with this mri and uh, mri tells us the presence of deep endometriosis uh, in the uh, in and around the uterus and slightly away like pelvic nerve and distant areas also which are not very much approachable by transvaginal sonography it can be done in uh, patients who are not where we can't do a transvaginal sonography like young girls and many times patients which we consult here in our center they are from out station so they need not travel to uh, get a diagnosis they can do a mri in their city and send a recording video and we can get it assessed here so it can be uh, it gives a very bigger picture and more detailed analysis about deep endometriosis so these are the two ways to diagnose deep endometriosis and mri also it is many times you may have a scan reports which may not show deep endometriosis but person who has seen uh, is trained to see this deep Uh, endometriosis in the MRIs and pick up this. So always go through the video. As an en- endometriosis surgeons, we we have to get trained to see the MRI, detect the disease, so that we can do more better surgical planning. Thank you.